Hey guys, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and another styling video. Sorry, I had two weeks off because I have just not been well at all. I got the kids lurgy and yeah, it didn't go well. Um, but I did do a video but with my Amazon haul because I had planned that as an additional video and then I was like, I really can't. <laughs> I'm not up to filming and then last week I still wasn't well and Jack had the week off so we're doing family things so I took a little bit of a break. I am back today styling the ballet pumps. Now I got the Chanel ballet pumps actually in November. My husband got me them for our leather wedding anniversary gift. We are not normally that generous with our um, gifts but he had forgotten my birthday. No he had forgotten my birthday. He ordered me a birthday gift and it never came. Just after that I ended up going into early labour and having the baby at 31 weeks and it would have been crazy. Um, so he was like, this is your birthday and push present and um, wedding anniversary all rolled into one, which I was quite happy with because I thought like these are such a classic wardrobe staple. Um, so I'm going to be styling these up. There's so many amazing ones on High Street too, so I will link those as well and find some alternatives for you guys. But um, I wanted to do this video for ages, but I felt like I personally wasn't wearing them because it wasn't warm enough so I wanted to wait until it was like the right weather for ballet pumps and I really feel like they're going to come into their own now. I've only really worn them out twice. I wore them once when I first got them and froze to death. My feet were so cold. I feel like when your feet are cold, you're cold all over. Um, and then I wore them the other day um, with this exact outfit actually and I loved them. So I feel like now that I've worn them once and loved them, I'm just going to wear them all the time. Do you guys feel like you're the same with new things because it's not just like a new thing it's like a new I don't really have any ballet pants it's like a new style and they're quite feminine for my style so hopefully you guys if you have a similar style to me which I'm sure you do if you're following along and um, then you'll find some ways to wear them too because they are as I said quite a classic feminine style which is not me at all as you can see um, so yeah I'm going to show you how I would style them up for my style. So the first outfit is the one I'm wearing and I have just got, so I've got my oversized shirt on. I didn't actually even do this up. I literally just shoved it on. I've got a top underneath purely because I used that for filming before, but when I wore it the other day, I didn't have this on, but yeah, depends on the weather, I guess. You can layer up. Um, and then I just shoved this jumper over the top. My leather jacket, which I'm literally living in, this is another one that was like a new style to my wardrobe and once I wore it once, I wore all the time. If you guys want to see leather jacket outfit ideas, then let me know. This is actually faux leather, but yeah. Um, also, this is Frankie Shop, but I've found an amazing alternative on the high street because this is definitely worth it if you want to invest in one, but you do have to pay customs because it is only available from the Frankie Shop store very frustratingly. And I have my Arquette men's jeans on, literally live in these, and I've turned them up. So I've got a very kind of casual, oversized, layered look. And then the ballet pumps, I just feel like they kind of bring it all together, make it a bit feminine, like there's a lady underneath all of these masculine layers kind of vibes. So for outfit number two, I've gone so simple. I saw this on Instagram, um, on We Are Twin Set, because they, this is We Are Twin Set and I saw someone had styled it up like this and I was like, that's so nice, definitely gonna wear them like that. I have been taking loads of inspo from Instagram when I was thinking how I would style these. Um, and yeah, I love this striped top, it's just so perfect. And then with the cream jeans, these are the same jeans as before, but in cream, I have them in cream, black and light blue, and I actually really wanna get them in dark blue too. I just think they're such a great style of jeans. Um, can't be the men's section, guys. And then instead of rolling them up, which they look nice rolled up too, but I've just left them rolled down so a bit of a longer style. Um, and yeah, I just think honestly, this would be, if I put trainers on, this would be kind of like quite a masculine look. But I feel like because I've just tucked the top in and put the ballet pumps on, it just completely changes it. And it looks really nice with the blazer too, let me show you. It's great for a kind of smart casual look. If I was going to like an event or a meeting, I would definitely wear this. Um, and also, I think this would look really nice with my biker jacket, but I didn't want every single outfit to be with that because I literally live in it at the moment. Um, but this weather is perfect for blazers. This is like the blazer season. If I have number three, I've gone smart casual. I literally now go fully smart. This would look really nice with a blazer too, or laid with a blazer, biker jacket, denim jacket, any kind of jacket. But if you wanted to go smarter, then just switch this out for a blazer. Um, so I've just got a racer vest on got my Celine belt on, which I actually 
bought last summer as like a kind of push present slash birthday present slash you've not that I pushed because I had an emergency C section but you've had a really bloody tough time um and you deserve <laughs> a present um but I've only worn it a few times and I don't know why I think it's just I've got so much stuff and it just kind of got shoved to the back of my wardrobe so my summer resolution I was gonna say new year's resolution is to wear this belt more um but yeah I love this outfit so so simple I was actually gonna do it with a white shirt for a neutral look this is still neutral but I spied my fave M&S shirt and had to put it on um, and then obviously Chanel again. These are my Frankie shop trousers. I literally live in them. They're so good. I love them. I need to get every colour available because my black and brown ones are just complete wardrobe staples for me and these are a really nice length too um, and I think a cropped trouser would look really nice and super smart with um, the shoes too and very classic but obviously we're going for my personal style and i feel like the looser trousers look great so if you can hear children my <laughs> husband is in the next room looking after my two kids whilst i film this video so apologies if you hear the random screams or shouts so for outfit number four i've gone for this mini skirt which i was actually thinking of doing a styling so max is good, actually i was actually thinking of doing a styling video on that so if you guys are interested let me know um this is from arquette i love it it's so nice such a beautiful style and then i've got my chunky jumper on again or like not chunky boxy is what i meant to say um this is quite good because it's not too chunky so it hangs nicely and then i've got my chanel on so i've got all gray and black um for like an easy kind of monochromatic uh, monochromatic outfit i would wear this for like dinner and drinks but then also for like lunch i don't know i feel like i'm not a big midi skirt wearer but i bought this because i wanted to get it because i thought it looked really nice um obviously and i feel like yeah you could wear this anywhere like i'd wear this for meetings or to go for lunch or i probably wouldn't wear it to go to the farm <laughs> but for like the slightly smarter occasions but i've seen people wear them in their everyday wardrobe even with trainers and things and so I thought I was going to get one and try it out and I'm loving it. So for outfit number five, I have gone for a real kind of classic, what I feel like French Parisian style ballet pumps, which I feel like is what ballet pumps are, what I would expect to wear like a cropped straight leg jean, a little boxy t-shirt and my trench coat. And I did think of doing this with a blazer, but I wanted to show you as much variety as possible. And I think this would look nice with a blazer, a trench coat, um boxy jumper instead denim jacket leather jacket any jacket really it's just a really nice classic outfit i do love the trench with it though because it's got the longer length with it um this is my little we are twin set t-shirt i'm literally going about this brand but they have the best staples um and then this is my totem trench coat i'll find an alternative because mine's a few years old as you guys know my levi's which off my trusty amazon um i'll link my storefront because i have so many great finds on there and on instagram i share really good amazon bargains and finds so if you don't want to follow me over there then make sure you do i've got these levi's in blue too but i just want to show you them in black um because i feel like this outfit is really nice with the black it would be nice with the blue too but i just felt like the black with this kind of like tonal look as you can see they pretty much go with everything um but i still feel like if you're someone like me who's used to wearing trainers and chunky shoes it's a bit of an adjustment to wear something so flat and dainty but once you start wearing them and trying them on with things you realize actually they do look great with everything um so it's quite nice to have another dimension to my wardrobe so i hope that you guys found this video helpful um, and liked the different ways that i styled them up i'd love to hear what your favorite outfit is um, and if you've got any more inspo on styling them then let me know and if you follow anyone else on instagram or something or like um, any other accounts you've seen like a youtube video on how to style them please feel free to leave the link below so we can all get some more inspo um and yeah i will see you guys next week let me know if there's anything in particular you would like me to style up and see you then. Bye.